Uh, hi there, thanks again for having a look at this wee video. Um, the one I am, the fly I'm going to be tying today is a little Grelin jig nymph, which uh, it's that time of year where I've been doing a little bit of Grelin fishing. Um, this has been the most successful pattern so far. Uh, great little pattern. Uh, I like to, it's so just a standard jig nymph. Um, little pink tag on it, here's your Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, I will show you how we tie it and the materials involved. So the hook I'm using is a size 14 fulling mill jig, FM50 I think it's called. Um, the beads I am using this is a 3.5 mil tungsten slotted. Uh, I get these from tungsten beads plus. Uh, good value I think for tungsten beads. Uh, I tend to fish a tungsten bead on the point um, and something maybe a bit lighter on the dropper. Uh, okay, so the thread we're using is pink uni thread 8O. I like the thread to, to show through the body, it's kind of part of the appeal of this, I believe. Um, just catch that in, trim away the waist, and we'll just secure this bead in. Nice and simple. The slotted beads are much easier to secure in than, than the others. Um, so you have it sitting like this. I'll try to watch that in the camera, it's not working. Uh, just sort that out. There we go, and we'll take our thread down to, on these hooks you've got quite a pronounced, where your, your bend starts. So we're taking it down to just, just before where the bend starts. Nice and simple. Should do us a bit there. Uh, the tag, for the tag we're going to be using Glowbright number 2, which is the pink. So I'm going to take a length off of this. We are going to fold it in half. I'll try and show you this as we go. Fold that in half. Fold it again. And then we're going to fold it once more. So you end up with something like this. Then we're going to offer it up. On the top. Like so, hold it nice and tight, secure. One pinch and loop. One more turn, and then just make sure it's sitting. You can have a wee play about with it, make sure it's sitting where you want it. Give it a wee tight turn. Catch it in. And then we're going to fold this over. Like so. And then we're going to catch it all in, like that. We're going to take it to the bend again, and we are going to tidy that up. You have a wee step here. Uh, don't worry too much about it. It's, it's a buggy looking fly. And you'll hide that in a wee sec. So we're going to trim this tag. I want it trimmed in line with the bend. Like there. That's your marker for it. So just a bit there. That gives you your tag. Happy with that. Have a wee look. Make sure it's sitting where you want it. And then you can use your thread to Try and minimise that step now. We're coming back down the other end anyway to tie in the next bit. So all the way down. The rib we're using for this is, if I can find it, here we go. So it's the Techstream uh, Magic Tinsel. This is ultraviolet. You get two Two sizes. Uh, I'm using the the point eight mil, and this is the UV. Um, take a line to this. I've found this stuff excellent. Um, I do like a bit of UV in my flies. It's, it's something that I've. I think I've convinced myself that it, it helps. Um, so I tend to. Favour the, the UV rib for this, but any any rib, Opal Mirage or something like that would do you as well. 
Um, catch this in at the side. Full length of the body just for security. And then we're going to take this all the way up to the end. Again, you can use that to if that thread turns to minimise that step that you've created with the tag. Up we go and turn up there. And then we'll just tuck that out of the road for now. I've got a new toy here, a new pawn, vice pawn, so we will set that on that. Makes life easier, keeps it out of the road. For the dubbing, um, I'm using, this is Andrew's scruffy dubbing, he's a guy called Trout Stalker on, uh, you'll get him on Facebook, just Google it, Trout Stalker, Andrew's scruffy dub, excellent stuff to work with, this is a natural hair's ear dubbing, um, like this, great stuff to work with, um, in fact, I had a packet, if you bear with me I'll show you what it is. That's his packets there, Andrew's Scruffy Dubbing. Excellent stuff. Uh, you got all different colours, this is a natural. Um, I've just showed you the wrong colour, but yeah, that's the natural. Um, Tommy's colours are really, really good. Um, give her a thread a wee bit of wax, as always. And then just a nice wee pinch of dubbing. This is a really buggy pattern. You want it to be buggy, so don't um, you don't need to be too fussy. I'm not, as you probably know, gathered already. I'm not that fussy attire anyway. But buggy patterns like this, you really do not need to to stress yourself about being being neat. Like I say, the fish the fish have been liking this one. So, a couple of turns at the top there. Oh, don't catch the hook point. Um, and like I said before, the, the pink showing through is something that we're aiming for. So, I'm trying to build somewhat of a taper. Have a wee look, see. A bit more dubbing. You can be less tight with your dubbing as you go along. It helps create that taper. Like so, I think that looks okay there. Have a look and see. A couple of tons in there, and then we're going to come up with our rib. I like to go the opposite way. One turn, you want three turns here. You want to try and be as neat as you can with the rib. Three. Catch that in. Like so. Nice and neat. Now, come away with that. You can actually. Um, what you could do here is you could build it up with some more hairs here in the thorax, make it loose, and that's you. That'll catch your fish. Um, you can also, I've done one here with a little hot spot, and I'll see if you can see, like so. Again, that'll catch you plenty of fish. That's just glow bright, finished off with the glow bright in the thorax. The world's your oyster. What I'm going to do for this one is create a little dubbing loop. Um, and we're going to chuck in a little CDC hackle, dubbed thorax, bit of wax in the thread, a little bit of dubbing, create yourself a dubbing loop, um, excuse me, catch on your dubbing spinner, like so, and then all I've done is in my Petijan tool, I've got a wee bit of CDC that I've prepared earlier. Loads of videos on how to do this. I've done one on how to do it with the uh, fur, for doing a lure. I think it's called the fluff cat. Uh, you'll see it in my other videos. So all you're doing is catching it in your loop. Like 
like so. Actually, sorry, I'm going to spin that round. Just so I've got less of a gap. Catch it in like so. Run it down and you're left with that. And then start spinning. Until you end up with something that looks like that. And then it's just a matter of turning it. As you go, you want to start brushing these forward. Yeah, it's up to you how many turns you want to do here. I'm just going to use all of this up so it's you can be really sparse with it or oh, I think that'll do me there. Happy with that. Catch it in. Couple of turns to catch it in and then a couple of turns at the front. Like so, come in with the scissors. Ready that. Then we're gonna brush it all forward. A couple of turns, like I say, if you end up with pink showing through there. Not a bad thing. And then, last but not least, a little bit of varnish on the thread as normal. A couple of touches of varnish. And straight in and wet finish. Yeah. Nice and simple, make sure that's nice and tight. Come around and come away, come in with the scissors again. Rid of that. And as we quite often do with the buggy stuff, just gonna with these loops, it can be helpful just to pick them out, just in case you've got any twists. That looks okay. And then we're gonna wreck it. So, a bit of Velcro, if you want. Give it a good scruff up. I like the movement in the CDC that you get um, on the thorax. Like I say, you can... Um, you can just have the... You can just have the... Uh, Sorry, I think there's a bit showing through that I don't like. No, we're okay. Uh, yeah, you could just have the dubbed hairs here on the thorax if you want. Um, dial up to you. I'm going to come in with my tweezers here and pick away just the really long bits. I'm being fussy. Fish don't mind. These at all. I'll try to do this in the camera and it's... Oh, I think I had that one. So, like I say, fishing-wise... Um, in the UK here, yeah, you guys do it. Guys in America do it exactly the same way. I think it's, it's f you can fish these as a check nymph. You can fish them as a um, under an indicator. World's your oyster. Um, very buggy, rough looking fly, and like I say, it's been my best grayling pattern so far this year. Um, so I hope you tie up a few and I hope it works for you and if you guys could like subscribe that'd be great I'm trying to kind of build up the subscribers on the channel so um that would be perfect thank you very much for watching and I hope you get a few fish